watching ESPN College Football in this presentation of the ACC on ESPN. Today we are in the capital city of the Sunshine State, Joe Campbell Stadium, basking in the Florida sunshine as we get set for the Garnet versus Gold Florida State Spring Game. All the players on the field. On screen you see Bailey Hockman getting the start as the quarterback today. Saw some time in the spring game last season. He's got a wide open man. It's Tamorian Terry breaking tackles, diving for the end zone. And Body that does a great job, not only stretching in vertical, but cross a, a, a very tough across the middle. There you see him getting wide and, and uh, allowing this Florida State offense to move the ball a little bit. Leyburn straight ahead and in, touchdown, Garnet. Three-star prospect out of Niceville High School just a couple of hours down the road. Blackman to drop back once again and bottled up for a loss of about five. You know, you'll see those things start to really straighten out as, as this scrimmage goes on. Uh, he'll make some plays. And a little screen there to Rasul. Rasul breaking one tackle but can't shake the other. He'll be a yard shy of the first down. Hall of Famer Derek Brooks. And a guy that's really been catching the eye of this coaching staff is that ball, a little miscommunication, and Blackman had to dive on it. But a guy going back to Brooks. All four receivers out to the left. A little trick play. Gavin to throw. Touchdown goal. Jacquez Patrick. Another look. And if this is part of the Gulf Coast offense, consider me all in. Yeah, we're a little light in that quarterback room right now with Francois being out and all you have is, is Bailey Hockman and, and Blackman. Uh, and so maybe we'll plug Keith Gavin. Those difficulties at times. Hockman in trouble on the run. Waliame tracking him down. We've got a sack on that play by Alma. Um, two young guys that are that are going to see a lot of playing time this season uh, and plays extremely hard. I love watching those guys play. Cool. And he did a nice job, all things considered. And now here's Bailey Hockman, a guy that, you know, throughout the time and throughout this offseason in the run-up to this spring game, and we have some blue and orange here too. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. <laughs> well, that's a pretty fortunate pass to Trey McKitty, who spins free of a tackle, and McKitty going to be knocked out of bounds at the 45-yard line. I think more importantly, um, it, a lot can be said for, for guys that are able to come together and learn to play for one another, and I think that's what you've seen uh, this team do during the course of this sprint. They're down in six. And nobody home there. That's well, a great job. And now it remains second and 15. Here's Hockman. Hockman on the move out to the right. And that is complete. Acrobatic catch. But I think those toes were touching the paint. Ooh. 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 Replay would call him in on that one. Ooh. Unfortunately for the fans, we don't have instant replay. At the two-yard line. And here we go. Third and goal. Akers barging ahead and in. Touchdown. And Akers on the carry with a good touchdown. Record broken by Cam Akers. I believe Dalvin Cook is standing by down below with Ari Masudi as that ball into the hand of Sheffield. Sheffield breaking free. And Sheffield into the end zone. Allowing, the, allowing Chef, it'll just run right under it. Uh, break a tackle here. You never like to see that. Your safety just can't get him on the ground. He's the last, he's the last ditch effort there to try and get him on the ground. And that was wearing blue today, and that person is standing right up here and talking to the masses. Little trick play here. And a completion to Marion Terry breaking free. Terry, house call. Making it a 15-point lead. What the heck, if you're in trouble, might as well give it away. You got him wide open. Hey, listen, there are hot dogs and steaks on the line for this game. Uh, <laughs> nothing more evident than the play call. There are, there are a couple of laps deep into this, and that is a completion on the far side to Tamori on Terry. And hardly any of them have left either. Hockman to throw. In. Com it is complete. Touchdown. All right.
what you saw there by Hockman is just uh, that's that that's that that quarterback that you like to see. That's what you like to see from your quarterback. Always keeping his eyes there. He's been one of those players that have kind of been gamers. When you when you turn on the the tape and watch him scrimmage, um, he just shows up every single time. Um, it's I think for a play, Coach Taggart could have hoped for um, being in a place that he that he's loved for so long. And that there, all that Bailey Hockman could hope for. DJ Matthews cuts it back, gets inside the five, and is knocked out of play at the two-yard line. Moving core, and, and there you see it. You see him get open and, and make those cuts, and, and he just those, expl those explosive plays that we look forward to seeing from him for a long time to come. Uh, we get a chance to see that on that play. And here he is from... Cam Akers, who's wearing 23, to Ricky Aguayo. A field goal attempt, but a flag down. And he'll air it out. And right there, once again, is Deontay Sheffield. Fake the handoff. Blackman looking to throw. Now he's going to roll out and run. Blackman picks up a first down, and the play will be blown dead just beyond the 40-yard line. Now second down and 10. Blackman stepping into it and delivering a throw and completion Absolutely. out to the far Absolutely. side. Play clock runs dead and the crowd comes to their feet. Final seconds ticking away here of this annual Garnet versus Gold Spring game. And of course the delay of game will be charged to the Garnet team because that play clock ran dead. Little Gatorade bath for Coach Woody. Oh, wait, no, correct myself. It's We're in Tallahassee. It's a Powerade, Powerade. bath. <laughs> Why is it orange? <laughs> Meanwhile, 10 seconds left on the clock, and it will be a 31-13 victory for the Garnet over the gold. Bailey Hockman and company get the job done for Coach Woody. They'll be enjoying a little steak dinner tonight. And what a scene and what a night here at Doe Campbell Stadium. If this hasn't got you fired up for FSU football in a few months, I don't know what will. Corey, what a great night.